Assalamualaikum. Hello and good morning everyone. So we continue our lesson today. Okay, chapter 3, cube and cube root. So the previous one you have learned about square and square root. So I hope no more problem. So for cube and cube root, the first thing we want to look at what is the cube of a number. Okay, the cube or quarter figure of a number is the number multiplied by itself twice. Okay, so number cube equal to number times number times number. So for example, if given 5 cube, then we can write down as 5 times 5 times 5. Okay, mean that we multiply this number twice. Okay, if given another example, 2 cube. So 2 cube equal to 2 times 2 times 2. So we have repeated here. The number repeated for 3 times. 9 cube, so we can write as 9 times 9 times 9. 0 0.3 cube, we can write as 0 0.3 times 0 0.3 times 0 0.3. 2 over 3 cube, we can write as 2 over 3 times 2 over 3 times 2 over 3. So this is a cube of a number. Okay, example, the next example is one uh, 4 cube. Then we can write down as 4 times 4 times 4. If given negative 4 in bracket cube, then we can write as negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4. If given 1 over 2 in bracket cube, so 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 times 1, 1 over 2. If given 3 over 4 cubed, then we can write as 3 over 4 times 3 over 4 times 3 over 4. If given negative 5 cubed, no bracket here, so mean that negative outside and then we put the bracket 5 times 5 times 5. Okay, next, if given 12 times 12 times 12, the same number repeated 3 times here. So we can write down as 12 the power of 3 or 12 cube. Same goes to 0 0.7 times 0 0.7 times 0 0.7. So we can write down as 0 0.7 cube. If given negative 1 over 2 times negative 1 over 2 times negative 1 over 2. Look at here, negative 1 over 2 repeated for 3 times. So we can write down as negative 1 over 2 the power of 3 or we call as negative 1 over 2 cubed. Next, we want to look at what are perfect cubes. So a perfect cube, kuasa tiga sempurna, is the product of a positive whole number multiplied by itself twice. Okay, so this is a table of cube. 1 cube equal to 1 times 1 times 1. 2 cube equal to 2 times 2 times 2. 3 cube equal to 3 times 3 times 3. Go on. 4 cube, 5 cube, 6 cube, 7 cube, 8 cube, 9 cube, and 10 cube. So we want to find the value of this cube. So 1 cube, 1 times 1 times 1 equal to 1. 2 cube, 2 times 2 times 2 equal to 8. 3 cubes, 3 times 3, 9 times 3, 27. 4 cube, 4 times 4 times 4 equal to 64. 5 cube, 5 times 5 times 5, 1, 2, 5. 6 cube is 2, 1, 6. 7 cube is 3, 4, 3. 8 cube, 5, 1, 2. 9 cube, 7, 2, 9. And 10 cube, 1,000. This list is still going on. Okay, so these are all the perfect cube. Okay, these are all the perfect cube. But this list is still continue. 11 cube equal to 11 times 11 times 11 and so on. Okay, so mean that the perfect cube is the product of positive whole number multiplied by itself twice. Okay, so the list from the list before cube. Uh, perfect cube are 1, 8, 27, and so on. This one we get from the whole number. We cube the whole number, the positive whole number. So, next we want to determine whether a number is a perfect cube or not using calculator. 
Okay, for example, determine whether 512 is a perfect cube. So how to determine using calculator? You press shift, then you press square root like this and then you press the number given and equal. Okay, this is shift and this is the button. Actually, you press the shift because you want to activate the yellow button here. So we press shift, we want to press this cube root. So when you press this, you will come out like a cube root like this. So then you press equal, you will get 8. Mean that you get whole number. So if you get whole number, so 152 is a perfect cube. Another example. You tell me whether 3320 is a perfect cube. So same way, you press shift, then you press the symbol, then you press the number given and equal. So you will get the answer is 14.9180 and so on. So mean that this is not whole number. Thus, 3320 is not a perfect cube. Okay, determine whether 91125 is a perfect cube. So you count using calculator, you get 45. So this is whole number. Thus, 91125 is a perfect cube. Okay, next example, calculate negative 1.3 cube. So negative 1.3, we can write down as 3 times negative 1.3 times negative 1.3 times negative 1.3. Repeated 3 times. Okay, so we can calculate this and get equal to negative 2.197. Number 2, calculate 1 and 2 over 3 cube. So this is mixed number, so we can change into improper uh, fraction first. So 1 and 2 over 3 equal to 5 over 3 cube. So 5 over 3 cube, we can write as 5 over 3 times 5 over 3 times 5 over 3. So equal to 1 to 5 over 27. Then we simplify, you get 4 and 17 over 27. Okay, next, how to determine the, num the cube of a number using calculator. Example, calculate 12 cube. So 12 cube, how? Okay, this is your calculator. You look at this symbol, this sign, this button. So you press the number given 12 and then you press this button. So you press equal. If you use this type of calculator, you have, you if you look at the button, no, um, cube, no cube here. So we have to activate the yellow one. So you press shift, then you press this. Okay, then follow it uh, by equal so you will get the answer is 1728 another example calculate is negative 0 0.2 cube so we can press um, in bracket negative 0 0.2 close the bracket and then you press this button and press equal you will get negative 8 point times 10 negative 0 0.3 if the given like this the answer in your calculator what to do okay now you look at the power of this 10 Negative mean that negative 0 0.3 mean that you have to move the decimal point 3 to the right. Okay, so this is the decimal point. You move 1, 2, 3. So you will get negative 0 0.008. Okay, calculate 3 over 4 cubes. So you can press the fraction and then you press cube. You will get 27 over 64. And then calculate negative 2 over 3 cube and same as negative, negative 12.167. Okay, so you can try to do this. Calculate 5.3 cube. So you press your calculator. What is the answer you get? Okay, equal to 148.877. And then the question number 2, 0 0.12 cube. So you will get. 0 0.001728 Okay, it's given like this so you can change into mixed number of uh, improper fraction then you cube or you can also press shift then you press the symbol then insert mixed number if you want don't want to change into improper you close the bracket and then you press a button then you will get the answer is 4 and 17 over 27
Okay, next, how to determine the cube root of a number. Example, use a calculator to find the value of the following cube root correct to two decimal places. Okay, so if given like this, if given like this, cube root negative 0 0.049, so you can press your calculator, press shift, and then press the symbol. Same goes to this one. You press shift, you press the symbol. Remember, we press shift because we want to activate the yellow, yellow button at the back here. So, you will get the answer equal to negative 0 0.3659 uh, and so on. This is the value shown on your calculator. But the, uh, the question asks you to write correct to three decimal places. So, we round off to three decimal places equal to negative 0 0.366. Okay, if given like this, B, the cube root is 2 and 1 over 4. Okay, this one you can press shift before you press factor. Fraction, uh, fraction button. Okay, so that you press shift first and then you press shift um, uh, fraction button because we want to activate this mid number. Okay, then you will get 1.31. This is value shown and then we run off to three decimal places. You will get 1.310. This is how we determine the cube root using calculator. Okay, how to estimate the cube of a number? So, example, give an estimation of the value of 2.71 cube. Okay, so 2.71 cube, we round off. Okay, we, now, uh, we round off approximately equal to 3 cube. 2.7 equal to 3 approximately. Huh? So, this one, 3 cube equal to 3 times 3 times 6, so equal to 27. Okay, give the range of value. Now, we want to find the range of value in, in estimation. So, 4.13 cube. So, we look at 4.13 is located between 4 and 5. So, we can write as 4 cube is 64, 5 cube is 1 to 5. So, this is the range of value. How to estimate the cube root of a number? Okay, estimate the value of the cube root of Cube root 80. Okay, so to estimate the value of cube roots, you have to know the perfect cube. Okay, find the cube root of the nearest perfect cube. Sorry, this is perfect cube. So perfect cube is 1, 8, 27. You have learned just now. Okay, so cube root 80, if you look at here, the nearest 80 equal to 64. The nearest one. So we can write estimate uh, approximately is Cube root 64. So cube root 64 is equal to 4. Another example, estimate the value of cube root 700. So if you look at the perfect cube, 700, the nearest value of 700 is 729. Uh, okay, so we can write down it's approximately is, uh, cube root 729. So 729 is equal to 9. Cube root 729 is 9. Estimate the range of value of cube root 310. So range of value, so you write down in range like this. 310, the nearest 310 is between 216 and 343. So cube root 216 and cube root 343. So we can find this, this value equal to 6. Cube root 343 equal to 7. So this is the range of value. Okay, next, combine operation involving square, square root, cubes, and cube root. For example, find the value of negative 4 cube plus square root 49 times 9. So, remember, if combine operation, we must use bulk mass rule. Okay, so bulk mass, last time you learned about bracket, divide, multiply, addition, subtraction. So, O here, we go to power of. So, after bracket, you must solve the power of first. So, in this case, we don't have the bracket, but we have the power of. Okay, so we have power of 3 and also cube uh, square root. So, we change this one, negative 4 cube equal to 64. Square root 49 equal to 7. Okay, and then this is plus and times. So we what must it times first. So we solve this first. So for 64 plus 45, then equal to 109. Okay, question number two. Find the value of cube root 
uh, sorry, square root 400 plus, and then you have in bracket, and then you have cube. So what to do is first, we have to solve the bracket. So, we solve the bracket, uh, negative 5 plus 1 over 2 equal to negative 4.5. You put the bracket here. Then after that, we solve this Q, uh, square root. So 20, square root 400 is 20. So this one, you cube, you get negative 91.125. Plus, minus, remember you learn, become minus. So, you minus the number, you will get the answer. Another example, find the value of this one. So, first, we change this one. Cube root, negative 5, 1, 2. You can press calculator. And then, you will get negative 8 times 3 square equal to 9. Over square root, 81 equal to 9. So, you solve this, you will get the answer equal to Eight. This is combined operation. So remember, combined operation, the first you have to do is you must follow this rule, what must rule. So if you have bracket, you solve the bracket first. Then if you have power of, such as you have square, square root, cube, and cube root, so you solve that one first. After that, you go to divide, multiply, addition, and subtraction. Okay, now we want to look at problem solving. Okay, the total volume of three identical cube is 2,187 cm cube. What is the length in cm of the each of each cube? So, I want to give you some tips here. If given the volume, the volume is given, okay, you need a uh, cube, then you can find the length of each side by cube root the volume. Okay, so length, okay, this is actually the cube root, uh, the cube root, uh, you have three here. So, the cube root of the volume. So, we look at the solution. First, this is three identical cube. Three identical cube. We have to find the one cube only. Okay, so one cube equal to, you divide by three, so you get seven to nine. This is the volume of one cube. So, when you get the volume of one cube, you can find the length of an inch of the cube. So, you cube root this one. So, you have three here. So, this one is missing. You have three here. So, 7 to 9, so equal to 9 cm. So, this is the length of the cube. Okay, another problem solving. The total surface area of a cube is 1734 cm cube, uh, cm squared. Calculate the volume in centimeter cube of the cube. Okay, so tips here, if given the length, if given the length, you can find the volume. Now, you want to find the volume. So if you you can find the volume by cube the length, but for this case we don't we don't have the length. But given here is the area. So remember last time you learned how to find the area, uh, length if given area. So this is the cube. Why we divide by six? Because we have six surface area. This is one face, another one face, uh, right here one face, left also one face. At the back, one face and bottom here also one face. Uh, face. So we have six face faces here. So mean that we divide by six. The total just now we divide by six. So one face here, the area for one surface here is equal to two eight nine. So when you get the area for this one, remember last time you learned about square and square root. If given the area, you can find the length by square root the area. So length of cube is you square root the area. So, you square root 289, then you will get 17 cm. So, the length of each edge uh, of this volume, uh, this cube is 17 cm. But the question asks you to find the volume. So, the volume of cube equal to 17. The length just now we cube. So, you will get 4913 centimeter cube. Okay, so this is problem solving. Okay, so for our offline class, please do this exercise. I will post this uh, in WhatsApp group. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you, class. So if you have any problem, we will discuss in WhatsApp group later. Okay, thank you and see you again.